Hello, dear learners. Welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Shobhit Vadva, Associate Professor, Ideal Institute of Management and Technology, Guru Gobind Singh Inprastha University, Delhi. The module we will be discussing today is on the topic Teacher Education in India, Issues and Concerns. And the objectives of the module are to discuss the state of teacher education in India, to highlight the various issues faced by teacher education in India, and to focus various concerns of teacher education in India. Friends, as we all know that since independence, a lot has been done by Government of India to strengthen teacher education by establishing various committees and commissions for reforming education and specifically teacher education. The establishment of NCTE concern about teacher education in NPE 1986 and program of action 1992 clearly makes the teacher education in India an issue to be discussed widely and reformed to deal with changing requirements of the society. The recent development in the education system that is the right of children to free and compulsory education RTE Act 2009 which became operational from 1st of April 2010 also has important implications for teacher education in the country. NCTE framed regulations for teacher education in 2007 and modified them with changing needs of the children and the education system in 2009 and 2014 subsequently. Preparation of National Curriculum Framework for Teacher Education 2010 has been a remarkable step in designing the teacher education in India. Teacher education in India can be classified under two heads. One, the pre-service teacher education and other, in-service teacher education. The pre-service teacher education is regulated and controlled by NCTE. It lays down the standards, minimum qualifications for teacher educators, course, content, duration, and minimum qualification for entry of student teachers for the various courses. In-service teacher education is managed by different institutions at different levels such as NCERT, NUPA, Regional Institutes of Education, SCERT, DITES, IASEs, Block Resource Centers and Cluster Resource Centers. The efforts made by all these institutions, specifically NCTE, are indeed appreciable. Still, the teacher education is struggling to strengthen its identity. It is lacking behind somewhere in realizing its purpose. Its scope has broadened and its objectives have become focused during the last years, but teacher education could not realize its objective fully. Now let us discuss some issues faced by teacher education in India. First, it is the institutional inertia. If we see earlier the society was governing the society by virtue of its values, then the state started governing the society on the basis of rules and regulations. Now the economy is overarching both the state and the society. Due to divergence of state, society, judiciary, and education, there is institutional inertia. But who is accountable? The state, the society, the judiciary, the education or all of them? The question is still to be answered. Second major issue is brand inequity. There is a pathetic indifference in public sector institutions and rampant commercialization in private sector. The teacher education degrees conferred by the various universities and institutions are non-comparable. There is evident variation at all levels, input, process and output. Enrollment in teacher education program varies from region to region. There are well-specified teacher education curricula by the NCTE. Even then, in significant number of institutions, there is under coverage. The quality of product and placement criteria for teacher education program vary from university to university. There is evident disregard with respect to the NCTE norms and regulations. So every institution and every brand is doing the same in one way or the other. 
The next very crucial issue is quality crisis. There are problems of quality perception, quality scaling and quality differentiation in teacher education. There is a significant variance between expected and actual quality. This is exemplified by the successive entrance tests for higher level, be it graduate, postgraduate or doctoral level. Even the performance of prospective teachers holding a degree of teacher education in teacher eligibility test has been found very poor during the last years. Next issue is mushrooming of establishments. Establishment has overgrown enrollment in most of the teacher education programs, but at the same time there is uneven distribution of the teacher education institution. There is a need to have demand and supply estimates. There is a need to find out teacher education institutions required countrywide, program wise and state wise at present and in future. These future projections should be in tune with the growth of school education. Poor integration of skills is also a major issue in teacher education in India. A teacher needs not be someone well versed with the content and methodology, rather equipped with innumerous skills. But our teachers are lacking in skills which are needed today including emotional competencies, life skills, info savvy skills, techno pedagogic skills, human development climate and spiritual intelligence. Life skills include empathy, interpersonal relationship, effective communication, critical thinking, creative thinking, problem solving and decision making, coping up with emotions and stress and leadership. Emotional competencies include self-awareness, self-management, social sensitivity and social management. While info service skills are asking, accessing, analyzing, applying and assessing. If we talk about techno-pedagogic skills, it includes media message compatibility, media designing, integration of message media and modes, media choice, message authenticity and media credibility along with media automation, integration and acculturation, realizing proximity of message forms, media language proficiency and uh, so more. Then we have the human development climate as a skill which includes trust, risk taking, openness, reward, responsibilities, top support, feedback team spirit and the spiritual intelligence that is spirituality, soul or inner being, quest for life values, convention, commitment and character, happiness and distress, brotherhood, equality of caste, creed, color and gender flexibility. Quality teachers can be developed through skilled and competent teacher education professionals who have passion for their profession. There should be no compromise with the standards and norms. The various skills need to be properly integrated in teacher education. Teacher education is starving and striving for competent and proficient teacher educators. The prevalent modes of education namely face to face mode, distance mode and electronic mode are also isolated and work in alienation to make the condition more gruesome. The next issue is that teacher education in India only focuses on school education and neglects the higher education. By teacher education in India, we are concerned with only preparation of school teachers. Next issue to discuss is that every education level has its own tenderness and there are mismatches between the subject and pedagogy and also amongst the profiles of the learners and their education. If we talk about the identity crisis, every teacher education institution ought to have a valid identity. Each and every teacher and teacher educator should have a unique identification number. 
The self-disclosure exercise being done by the teacher education institutions help in realizing their identity. The national curriculum framework for teacher educators towards preparing professional and human teacher December 2009 is with high hopes. Also teacher education reflection towards policy formulation 2009 is quite promising. Teacher education will have to revive and build its identity. Now the next major issue is the rarity of innovation in teacher education. This rarity may be attributed to various factors. Novel ideas do not incubate because of the adverse external conditions. There are wide gaps between the visionaries and actors. So very often the innovations have short life and die down in the institutions where these originate. Sometimes the most innovative programs fail in the formal system because these are beyond the view and purview of the apex bodies. Four year integrated secondary teacher education programs need excellent teacher educators who are philosophers of basic disciplines as well as education. Such a combination is rarely found. Activity based personalized teacher education programs though originated with zeal yet need to struggle to sustain themselves in the forms envisaged. Personalized teacher education, holistic teacher education, specialized teacher education and even integrated teacher education are rarely found because we do not have the capacity to tolerate repeated failures arising out of experimentation. The society and its institutions must have the capacity to tolerate genuine mistakes committed inadvertently during the course of innovation. Next issue to discuss is the non-alignment of stakeholders. Different parties to education champion their cause of becoming the so-called stakeholders without having regard to the needs, urges and aspirations of other stakeholders. Consequently, the system is unduly stressed. Instead of making it resilient enough to deliver man making education, state indifference and displeasure, judicial concern and activism, privatization and commercialization, public hope and failure, disregard and disrespect for education are fully evident. The next issue to highlight is the inadequacy of technological infusions in teacher education. Our teacher education programs are largely traditional. Pace of modernization is very slow. We have not yet been in a position to infuse the technological innovations for transacting the education. There is more of knowledge deepening than knowledge construction. We have rare patents in educational technology. A sizable number of teacher education institutions in India have initiated into ICT in education either as a core course or as optional course. But the study conducted by Goyal in 2005 reveals that the number of teacher education institutions have been found lacking in basic facilities such as internet facility, hardwares, softwares like MS Publisher, Acrobat Reader and so on. Joshi in 1999 and Dhodi in 2005 also concluded in their studies that student teachers largely lack in info savvy skills and techno pedagogic skills. Now it is high time to shift from Bachelor of Teaching to Bachelor of Learning and that too Bachelor of E-Learning. There is a need to develop net savvy skills in teacher educator trainees. Technology in education is not yet fully integrated. It is still underutilized. There is technological revolution in teacher education. There is a shift from e-learning one that is online learning to e-learning two twitters facebook to e-learning three that is semantic web that is from content to community to artificial intelligence. This is a quick shift from web 1 to web 2 to web 3. 
we have initiated into open education, open courseware, open source software, open content and open research. There are proposals for e-teacher education as well, but we are still lacking somewhere. Smart classrooms are emerging wherein we have e-learning and e-testing. Terms like Wi-Fi, iPad, e-book, e-reader, e-newsletter, webinar are widely used and commonly known by all. Digital lesson designs and e-portfolios have become common features. There are compendiums of e-abstracts and surveys of educational research in India on the World Wide Web. But the irony is their use in teacher education programs is still limited. One more issue that comes in the way of teacher education is that there is a very little choice base. Though we have introduced optional areas in teacher education, but the choice is very limited. There is a need to employ choice based credit system in teacher education, which can be realized through e-platforms and amalgamation of various modes such as face to face, distance and electronic. Most importantly, research in education is replicate and repetitive devoid of freshness either of problem or of approach or of methodology. There are mismatches between research trends and risk problems. Philosophical and historical studies are very rare. There is more of quantitative research than qualitative. There is more of descriptive and evaluative research than suggestive. There is more of borrowed methodology than indigenous. The research studies are scattered and unlinked. There is lack of continuity, cumulativeness and synthesis. Another major issue is mismatch in vision and mission of the teacher education institutions. Although we have NCTE, NCERT, NUPA, SCRTs, diets and many more institutions to regulate and reform teacher education in India. The need for specific universities and institutes is still felt. To comply with this same, University of Teacher Education has come up at Chennai and IITE, Indian Institute for Teacher Education in Gujarat. There are evident mismatches amongst vision, establishment and mission of all these institutions established for the upliftment of teacher education. Coming over to the next issue is that human resource planning is non-scientific. In this ICT and digital age, machines are most respected, whereas men are most neglected. What to talk of the knowledge poor? Even in the knowledge rich societies, gross injustice is rampant. Laboratories have been an integral element of any teacher training institution, but sadly, the various laboratories of the teacher education institutions, namely Science Lab, Psychology Lab, Guidance and Counseling Lab, Educational Technology Lab, Computer Lab and Language Lab are either not there or are mostly in very bad states. Another issue is this that some of the distance and open universities have become over activists in the context of teacher education. These universities have a notion that they can open their teacher education extension centers anywhere. Such distance and open universities have resulted into the dilution of teacher education. The worst scenario of teacher education is that there is no teacher education policy in India. To preserve the identity and sanctity of education, it is high time that Indian educational services be introduced. It is unfortunate that the education is not even considered as an entity. Dear learners, teachers are the greatest assets of any education system. They stand in the interface of the transmission of knowledge, skills and values. They are accepted as the backbone of education system. To rejuvenate school education, as well as teacher education towards modernization 
contextualization and professionalization, the following are the concerns that can be looked for. Firstly, as we earlier discussed, there is no teacher education policy in India. The chaos present in teacher education in India demands well formulated teacher education policy. Secondly, regulation and norms of teacher education in India are more idealistic than realistic. Hence, they should be formulated with more realistic approach. Surveys needs to be conducted to estimate the teacher education institutions required countrywide, state-wise and program-wise. Every state should be asked by the NCTE to conduct surveys and submit the estimates within stipulated time. There should be added focus on research on historical, economic and philosophical foundations of education. There is a need to develop human resource in all these relatively neglected areas. The effectiveness of research in educational technology and ICT is reasonably established, but the researchers have failed to feed back the system. There should be research on info savvy skills and technopedagogic skills. There should be due focus on learner-centered activities. Constructivist approach should be employed both with information given and beyond information given. There is a need to move from behaviorist model to communication model to interactive models. Also, there is a need to move from cognitive approach to socio-cognitive approach. More studies should be conducted on human rights education health and hygiene, life skills education and environmental education. The qualitative research methodology needs to be employed more rigorously. Rather than recoursing to the old theories, there should be added focus on grounded theories. There should be due scope for self-evaluation, peer evaluation, group evaluation, teacher evaluation, school evaluation and community evaluation in teacher education programs. There should be research on the related factors contributing to comprehensive evaluation. Teacher education cooperatively should seek the resources of all sectors, public and private. Unless and until all cooperate teacher education programs and courses cannot be offered. Teacher education institutions cannot afford to function in isolation, both within and among interdisciplinarity and multidisciplinarity should be practiced by the teacher education institutions. The interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary research should be promoted in the teacher education institutions. Innovative teacher education programs such as personalized teacher education need to be institutionalized for the realization of holistic teacher education. There should be differentiated, differential integral teacher education. There should be suitable inputs corresponding the IQ, learning styles, languages, interests, abilities, cultures, maturity and other conditions of the learners. Teacher education is more content based than competence based. Further, there is a wide gap between the teaching competencies expected and practiced. In addition to knowledge base, the teacher education should have adequate focus on inculcation of values, development of desirable attitudes and enhancement of a variety of skills, life skills, human development skills info survey skills, digital skills, techno-pedagogic skills, emotional maturity skills, spiritual development skills, yogic skills and management skills. The teacher education in India should be governed by the experts in teacher education. It is education and education only which can purify the souls, resonate the hearts, bewitch the minds and empower the motor muscles to live with peace and harmony and lead with determinism. There should be adequate convergence amongst the state, society, judiciary 
and education in resolving any issue. To sum up, we can say that no institution can remain healthy and survive unless its people work honestly, diligently and continuously. Teachers make the highest impact on quality in the classroom. They are at the heart of education, but the status of overall teacher education in India is pathetic to put it mildly. Unprecedented expansion of teacher education institutions and programs during the past few years characterizes the teacher education scenario of today. Quality of teacher education has been on stake for a long time. It calls for revolutionary changes. At last, we can say that the concerns should be visited and immediate steps need to be taken to revive and maintain the quality of teacher education in India. Thank you.